What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new H&N News Flash, and a huge one, as we've gotten even more news about DC's upcoming Green Lantern Corps movie. We've gone from having zero information on that one to now having a ton of details just in the last couple of weeks. In line with newer reports that the film would not only feature Hal Jordan, but also Jon Stewart in a Green Lantern team-up described as lethal weapon in space, a new report from The Wrap, if accurate, might have just unveiled DC and WB's shortlist for Hal. And it is a star-studded list, to say the least. I think it's pretty clear from the list that they want Green Lantern to really be a tentpole of their film universe, which casting any of these actors would effectively do. Those actors are Tom Cruise, Jake Gyllenhaal, Bradley Cooper, Army Hammer, Joel McHale, and in a pretty surprising twist, Ryan Reynolds. Now, all of these are major names, but a few of them stand out as surprising to say the least. Tom Cruise is, of course, one of the biggest stars on the face of the Earth, and really he would fit the mold of that older Hal Jordan they're reportedly going for. Despite most people thinking he's crazy, he's still a really good actor in my opinion, and he could handle the range of drama and comedy GLC would probably require. Bradley Cooper is another name I hadn't really considered, but he definitely is a Martin Riggs type if we're talking about Lethal Weapon, if they want Hal to be the more comedic of the two Green Lanterns, kind of also keeping in line with the comic book background and I'd be really interested to see how this would work uh, with his work with Marvel and how Marvel would potentially interfere with this. Joel McHale is just another surprising name, an actor some of you might know from Community or The Soup. He definitely comes from a more comedic background, to say the least. I honestly don't think he'd really fit, but I do like his previous work a ton, and I'd be interested to see how he'd play the character, because I think it would be uh, a very different approach than any of the other actors would have. Jake Gyllenhaal and Army Hammer are both neck and neck as my personal top two picks, and I think Army is probably the frontrunner given his DCEU connections, which I honestly wouldn't mind at all, but Gyllenhaal is just spectacular <laughs> about anything he's in. I mean, he's a real chameleon. I think he could really take on anything they ask from him in that role. The most interesting name on the list, without a doubt, is of course Ryan Reynolds. Ray Reynolds played Hal Jordan already in 2011's ill-fated and poorly received Green Lantern, but I can't really fault Ryan for that movie because I think the bigger issue was the writing overall. They were, the tone was just uneven across the board, both in the movie itself and uh, the performances they wanted from the actors. To see him back on this list is just a stunner to me. I say that because that Green Lantern movie that flopped so hard was supposed to be the starting point for a new DC Universe, which was pretty well scrapped after it tanked, but Reynolds' stock, so to speak, has shot back up again in Hollywood and in the superhero community thanks to Deadpool, so maybe they're hoping he can bring some of that magic to the DC Universe in a new Green Lantern movie. While he wouldn't be a terrible choice, I honestly think they'll go in a different direction. The fact that he's on the list, like I said, is pretty shocking to me, thanks to his previous commitments to Fox, but also because of fears uh, that they wouldn't get out from under the previous movie's bad reputation. I think that's something that, if I was them, I would be very worried about. So let me know in the comment section down below who's your pick for the DC Universe's Hal Jordan, whether on this list or not, but that's going to do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw and subscribe for more great content every single day. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.